Hello survivors and welcome to Nimrod's Guncraft Survivors. Today is the early access of the game. I'm so excited to show you everything. Uh, first thing I want to show you is the gun that we've given our drone. As you can see, he's got a tier 3 uh, stock mounted targeting AR. So that increases crit chance, crit bonus, movement speed, vision range, and your bullets that hits an enemy marked with a square reticle will uh, gain critical chance by 35 and critical bonus. A very nice little stock there he has a memory grip so fire rate bullet speed max life a reload speed we've got a, a charm for crit chance crit bonus movement speed all your partners will get, gain these bonuses as well we've got a freeze magazine as well and then the under barrel is the bayonet one so oh, also orbital a, dis, a dissuasion barrel but i haven't really seen it get to this part uh, firing your gun will duplicate all bullets you fire these duplications will orbit you i'm not 100 percent sure if this works on the uh on your clone or on your actual drone but we'll get into that while we're playing the actual round so uh, i need to give the weapon back to him unfortunately we can't uh, keep it and we can't enter run with it but today we want to try and unlock our little gun over here and in order to do that we need to play with the rpg so straight into it we have our frenzy uh, mutation so that our space bar isn't actually a um the space bar isn't the upgrade to our movement speed right now it actually gives us reload speed and attack speed so or fire rate is a better way of saying it not attack speed so we're going to keep those we're going to try and stay in this area for the entirety of the round uh taking this augmental sacrifice your movement speed carry uh, every 0 0.01 meters per second of movement sacrifice uh we will increase your max health by plus one I'm not 100% sure how that works, but it gives us quite a decent amount of bullet damage. So are we going to grab it? I mean, the movement speed loss is only 0.5, so I don't think it's that bad. Also, it would be nice if uh, I could actually aim the RPG because that's quite funny. <laughs> All right, there is an auto aim and auto fire, but I thought we'd just use it as is. I want to grab ourselves, I think, what is effect size? Multiples, multiplies the radius of the area of effect attacks. So I think uh, an RPG has area of effect with it. So I think we're going to grab ourselves that. We would like the crit bonus, but once we get the crit chance, we can start working on that a little bit more because we don't, we never know if we're even getting crit. So I'd rather have a huge exploding RPG than worry too much about a crit chance. And then we can go from there. If I hit spacebar, of course, we'll, we'll fire faster, but we don't need to because our drone is jacked up. And if we, he gets to a really high level, we're going to be doing great things. We could play with turrets as well. We could have a drone turrets. Uh, this gives us exceeded damage will penetrate targets. I'm not 100% sure how this would work with a... Uh, with an RPG because technically we can't we I mean we would, we would penetrate the target instead of it exploding on them so it wouldn't do the right amount of damage hit an enemy with a bullet spawns three sub bullets that each deal original damage uh, we do get a lot of armor doing this as well I think this could be quite fun especially with RPG it just means when we hit something with the RPG it's then going to explode into multiple other RPGs uh, they do deal a little bit less damage or a little less uh, you know damage with those rockets when they split but i think it could be quite fun and chaotic having a whole bunch of rockets exploding everywhere so we're gonna go and grab that and then we got the penetration again which we don't want a reload speed could be good magazine size is going to be very very good here it does give us resource bonus as well which we will work on and then we don't have to worry too much about picking up every single piece of xp i will show you a way that the game allows you to get magnets in this game so you are going to be able to you know not have to worry and you will get the opportunity to pick up those or all the xp on the floor regardless but we have to find a way to deal 750,000 damage with the uh rpg i think we're gonna go rate of fire it does give us dodge as well i do need to look next time we level up uh, how the dodge works 
or if it tells you just what your chances are based on the the number that's given there so if it does do that that will be great now there is a sniper rifle to unlock the thing is for you to gain uh what's the wording i'm looking for for you to be able to gain uh, access to it you are going to need to have a whole ooh, killing an enemy will increase your bullet damage by 0.01 percent this effect does not expire and can stack infinitely the other chance is to get a really big uh dps in i think this is going to be much better because that crit chance is also really good and standing still will also make enemies confused when they spawn in so we could actually stand in stand still right now and uh, new enemies are going to be confused i don't know if that's going to work for us but we can certainly try i do know there is achievement for standing still for like two or three minutes so let's see what happens if we are able to do it I don't know if you have to do it from the very beginning of the round or how it works, but we can definitely try while we're just chilling over here. And see whether or not we're going to get the achievement. I don't have my achievement set up, so I'll actually never know unless it's an unlock in game. So if it's only a Steam achievement, I won't know whether or not I unlocked it. But if it's a normal, uh, you know, in game achievement, then we'll know. All right, so I think we are going to land up working on, uh, what's the wording, reload speed though, because it will be nice to have a higher reload speed, just so that when we do need to reload, we're not really too worried about it. There's a lot of XP around us. I don't even know how long I've been standing still for, to be honest. I wasn't watching the time. But so this is really fun to do anyway. We're just collecting all that juicy XP in the beginning of the round. And we're going to get a nice a couple of levels. Also, our drone is leveling up. We did see all his parts. So the more the drone levels up, the stronger it's going to be getting on its own, which is fantastic. We do need to try and get a level 50 weapon so that we can equip that to the drone. And I think runs are about 25 minutes, depending on... You know how quickly we can kill the final boss which is actually very difficult because the final boss is most definitely a bullet sponge of note so it's going to be very difficult to do oh do you know why they want you to do it in the beginning because of these enemies so we need to try it from the very beginning of a run because otherwise we get those enemies and they just laser beam your faces normal enemies that survive for five seconds will drop 40 percent of their xp immediately we get less reload speed again, but then we get some more. We get bullet damage. Start a, starting a reload will increase your armor by plus four. Uh, that's actually quite nice, but that gives us so much more. We don't, I don't think we need the fire rate. Uh, we do need the reload speed though. So let's grab the armored stock rather. And you can see we are just picking up so much XP. We already just leveled up again. We can go for the fire rate now. Let's check what dodge is. 50 dodge skill gives you a 33% chance of dodging attacks. 100 dodge skill gives you 50% chance of dodging attacks. So let's try and get ourselves to 50 so that we have, uh, you know, I mean, let's try and get ourselves to 100 so we have that chance. Uh, we can go and grab the crit chance as well. Some vision range. Vision range is really, really cool. You do notice it the most when you're at the, the B section in the map. So there are different areas. Uh, as you can see, we have, a, uh, you know, kind of, uh, it's quite a big map. Um, this area, this dark area over here is the beehives and those beeves, you notice the vision range when you're there because normally the bees are quite big, like on top of you. And when you have quite a lot of vision range, the bees aren't necessarily all over you like they are otherwise. All right, so we actually dealt a bit of damage over there. We're going to activate our fire rate and reload speed over here and we're just going to focus on the boss our drone will take care of everything else around us so we don't have to worry about that and we get to kill the boss so one thing that's changed since the demo is one those bosses now have uh, those like spawn animations i don't believe they had them before and then drop chests now which is pretty cool so we're going to go with the bullet damage special damage some more armor armor is just reduced damage to you by this much so it's flat uh, damage reduction 
which is good. So the more armor you have, the less damage you're going to be taking. And that is good because some enemies do only do like two damage or whatever. So I think you do become like invulnerable with certain amounts of armor. All right, grab the fire rate and the dodge. Trying to get as much dodge as possible again. We're nearly at the 30% chance, which is actually relatively high. I mean, I think 30% chance is a decent amount of a chance to dodge a bullet. Uh, ammo rack, let's see, shooting the final bullet in the magazine will give you 10% chance of spawning a far value credit. It does give us a lot of damage as well. Assassin's barrel firing will temporarily sacrifice your movement speed, reducing it. We did take this one. But then every uh, second, uh, every one meet, 0 0.1 meter per second of movement speed you sacrifice, it will increase your crit bonus. Or we can go for the energy buster, which gives us the crit chance movement speed. Uh, actually, we can go with that. It does increase our movement speed back to where it was, which is also really good. So we got quite a decent amount of damage popping off now, or at least starting to deal. Yeah, we're doing a decent amount of damage now. And playing with being able to focus on, you know, targets. So we're not using auto aim uh, or auto fire. We are going to have a lot easier of a time destroying important enemies or VIP enemies. Uh, things like that, like these eyeballs. Generally, you got to get close to them with the drone for the drone to focus things. And we just want to kill them as quickly as possible. So being close to that's going to do the trick. I think, no, we'll go for bullet bullet damage and then max health. Those are just your standard upgrades. They don't really take any slots of your gun. Augment slots. So the thing is you do have to be careful is your gun only has one stock, one uh, charm all that kind of stuff so you have to make sure that you know if you if you do get options uh, and you don't like those options you have to take the general options instead so that you still have uh, levels or options for the future for different stocks and so on and so forth because you aren't i don't believe you're able to get uh, two stocks uh, that are different on the gun you have to get a different uh, the same stock over and over it's not going to allow you to change it or anything like that so once you've got the stock you've got the stock and uh, so on and so forth so we can show you is if you click on the gun so there you can see we've got the weighted stock armored stock it's going to give us the tier three next i can't get a second tier one stock and there's nothing you can do about having it already so we don't have an add-on we've got a barrel we've got the under barrel we've got the magazine we don't have a charm we don't have a grip so those are these things we need to look for and we need to make sure that they're going to work for what we are playing with otherwise it could uh, you know we you just got to be careful because if there's something specific you're looking for you need to be able to uh, get it but like over here we don't have a grip yet uh, this one gives us a lot of damage some fire rate uh, we could uh, finish upgrading this if we don't want it we do have the ammo rack or red. Oh, no, we didn't. That is empty. Uh, that's quite a bit of magazine size over there. But this is a lot of damage from this grip. So we might take it. 1.35. Yeah, we don't need the penetration. It does remove a bit of reload speed. But every 10 missing health, your collection range is increased. So we'll grab the sucker grip. I think it will be good having that, that damage, as you can see. Let's keep going. So let's go see if we can find one of the towers that we need to kill to kind of get our XP going over here. start hearing it shoot at us once we get close to it because that's exactly what they do they just shoot at you indiscriminately just attack us you know ah uh, there we go the purple bullets though that's the indicator that you found the right place but let's just get this auriculcum or whatever we want to call it i actually don't know the name of 
uh, half the stuff. Obviously, that's a honeycomb and our balls, but I don't actually know what the name of this stuff is. But uh, we're going to go and get that or destroy that tower, pick up the magnet and get a good amount of levels over there. We can go for... See, these things don't do anything. Um, it looks like it's a stock. No stock upgrade, a handle upgrade. But I think these don't really matter to anything. So we're going to pick up that. XP rate is really good as well. You know, you get to level up more. So why not take it? And then there is an achievement to kill this thing from far away. I just don't know how far or whether or not it's actually dying. Because I see explosions, but... I don't know if that actually means it's dying. Next up, Berther. Okay, it did look like I was getting hit, but now we need to focus on this guy. The closer you are to him, the easier it's going to be to dodge the attacks, which is fun. And we can activate our space bar as well. That's going to allow us more reload and attack speed. Pretty easy fight, done and dusted. I think most of the damage is coming from our actual uh, drone. We do get a special one called Bertha's Horn, so we are going to grab that. That's going to give us two armor. It's going to give us movement speed and a lot of damage. We could go with the Fame and Fortune for the crit chance and XP gain, but bullet damage, very, very hard to come by, especially in a high amount like that. So we are going to grab that. Okay, I can see the health bar there, but that doesn't mean it's even hitting it. There. Now that it's hitting it, you can see the other rockets flying all over the place. We do need to upgrade that uh, upgrade, <laughs> upgrade that passive so that the uh, split rockets actually land up doing more damage. It goes to a 1.05 uh, upgrade, so we got to go look for that. We do get different charms here. We get the Arbor charm, or we get the uh, Ducky charm. I'm going to go with the Ducky charm. Arbor charm's cool, but we don't have a lot of vision range. 3.1%. Uh, this says every meter of vision range your partner possesses will increase your vision range by 2%. And every 4% crit bonus your partner possesses will increase your crit bonus. Uh, the problem with this is I don't know how much vision range my... Oh, look at that. It actually tells you what it goes into. We don't have these ones unlocked yet. We get the chicken charm, or we get the Kestrel chicken charm, is every enemy within one meter will increase your movement speed. Every in every meter of distance from the nearest boss, mini boss, or demi boss will increase your bullet damage. Every meter from the nearest. So the further you are, or the closer you are. Further. Uh, Arbor charm turns into what? Crit chance? Ooh. Bullet damage, crit damage. Okay, let's go with the Arbor. Let's see over here. We don't have everything unlocked, but we do get this. That stuns enemies and shooting a bullet will increase its bullet damage for every... Actually, this is also really good to get. No, let's get the ammo rack. I do like getting that uh, that one there where the less... You know, the more bullets you have or the less bullets you have in your magazine, the more damage it's going to do. So that's going to be very helpful. If you can't hold down shift on these, so these are only tunings. Uh, I wonder if it actually said anything different. I've never really noticed that it might say something different, like one being check, uh, select an augment and the other select a tuning. So let's actually check on our next level up if it does say something like that, or if it's just going to say select a tuning for every single level up. We'll see now. Okay, I accidentally pushed space bar. Nope, it says select a tune. Oh, this is a tuning anyway. It's the same thing. Uh, reload speed could be really good to go for. We don't have any under barrel or ability charge. Uh, actually, ability recharge rate could be really good. But we're going to go with the reload speed first. Not that I'm actually shooting, as you can see. Uh, I don't really have to shoot much. But we need to let off some rockets and uh, pretend that we're doing something. Actually, we should do this because we need a lot of damage for the rockets. Also, the rockets seem to explode based on their range, I think. Yeah, they've got quite a short range. So if they don't hit anything, they don't do the explosion and the multiple uh, projectile split. So you do have to hit things with it. It doesn't just split. 
And then I need to find the next area's waypoint so we can go straight to that. But you are able to start in any area as long as you have the waypoint for them. So I have the waypoint for three different areas. We will show them in future videos as well. But before that, we wanted to make it raining rockets. up random xp all over the place i need more enemies around us that's when the rpg is really going to shine all right we got the sparked stock three we could get the pauldron stock so every 17 max health you have will increase your armor that could be very good touching an enemy with a character's abilities active will deal damage to them actually yes we need the pauldron stock not that and then this I mean, this is the split damage there we go we finally got it and then we get innovative magazine or fragmenter magazine fragmenter is pretty good i oh, know but not for this gun fragmenter would be good for a different like for an rp and a a, a fast shooting gun where the the bullets don't penetrate so they would get to penetrate there in this case each augment slot you have filled will increase your bullet damage so we're going to try and get innovative we were looking for the other stock and we'll get the ammo recharger but first, tech splitter magazine. So now the bullets that split are going to deal more damage, which is great. So the carnage will begin now, which is fantastic. As you can see, we already started off with so many explosions now, just because there's a whole lot more enemies that are spawning. And then there's no real reason, I mean, in the very beginning of the game, you want to run around, you want to unlock all the maps, but the some sometimes they get really, really difficult. So if you aren't happy with your, your weapon, you want to try and build up that weapon before you land up, you know, trying to get to the next area. Because I do believe that, you know, the further down you go into the areas, the harder the enemies are. Uh, I could be completely wrong, but that's definitely how I've been feeling with it. Uh, we're going to grab the bullet damage and max health over here. I'm still not at max crits. We could go, I'm sure crit bonus would actually probably be better. I should be going crit bonus, but it is what it is. It's a bit too late to go back on that. So we'll start doing that now. Bullet speed. I think I'm going to go for ability recharge rate right now. Effect size will affect the size of the radius of the area of effect. Uh, we'll see if we can get something else besides that. We're going to go with the ability recharge rate. That's going to help with our space bar button or ability so we get the increased fire rate and reload speed faster and things like that. Let's go find this dude that uh, transports enemies towards us. Don't see him. Also, oh there he is. He died and gave us a bunch of uh, apples. Right, so we do have an upgrade over here but as you can see there's a lot of enemies around us we can use our energy blast at the same time and we've got our next boss spawning so this is probably the best gun for this as you can see uh, splitting the bullets among the boss is pretty cool and the faster we can kill those things the faster we can kill the boss you can see he has less life now i do wonder if there's an achievement to kind of destroy him before he gets to the boss part uh, we would have to keep trying then get like to a an actual level of destruction by you know 12 minutes to see that in the future but there we go done and dusted pretty quick little a mini boss fight i guess and then we can go for the armor uh, what's this effect size it's actually quite a decent amount we do get the hp regen um then we got the seed pod 0 0.5 0.05 that's fire rate, which we don't really need. P bullet penetration, we don't really need. I think it might be... Oh, do you know what? I would like to go with that, but we're just going to go power and prestige for the bullet damage. I would like to have gone for the other thing, but I think the bullet damage is going to be better. Okay, bullet size, effect size, and collection range. We can go for that this time. Since most of our other upgrades have been other things. Alright, let's see here. That one's number two. 
Uh, we'll go for this. We lose reload speed again. But that's okay. And then we'll probably go for something like the electric magic, electromagnetic grip. Killing an enemy will increase your range. I don't know. We'll see which one we get later. But let's go get the Manny grip first. I wasn't able. Oh, I didn't pay attention to. Oh, so it does actually say select an augment. All right. Beautiful. Uh, this is not the. Is this the stock we wanted? Yeah, that doesn't matter. This is what happens here. Bullet speed fire rate. Was the charm, this was the charm we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Plus one. Yeah, this was the charm we wanted. So let's go and select the charm so that we can start upgrading that. I am learning so much more now. Before I would just push buttons and hope that I would just be like, oh, that's bullet damage. Let's go for that or whatever the case may be. And now I've learned that you've only got one slot for each of these augments. So you better be, you know, wary of your choices and make make good choices. All right, this is tuning. So this one, bullet size, effect size, that's great. We're going to have giant rockets. <laughs> Holy moly, you can actually see quite a big difference in what they look like. Uh, I don't know about the explosion size, but we're definitely seeing bigger rockets, which is awesome. And I don't think we're going to be doing enough damage, though. Because we're not hitting enemies with the... They're dying too quickly to our... To, to our drone. Our drone's just murdering everything. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. We can go for some crit bonus over here. We are critting quite a bit. Actually, bullet... See, bullet count doesn't help, but that HP regen does make a difference. Uh, we'll just go for the damage and max health. We do have quite a bit of armor, which is, again, flat damage regen. Flat damage reduction. So the explosion still hits enemies, but we have to hit them with the actual rocket to split the, the rockets. There we go. But this is why we keep a, a, a automatic right weapon on our drone and we don't go for like a shotgun or something slow firing, but it's still very strong. Our drone, if we're going for something silly, our drone needs to kind of go for something a lot better. Uh, there wasn't another, oh, there is another grip. Um, let's see, 1.15. So this gives us more and it gives us more crit chance. So we're going to grab the Cobalt Mani gr Magni Grip. Uh, killing an enemy will increase your your collection uh, collection range. Reloading will reset this. So we're going to need more. Actually, one day if it counts as my drone killing enemies as well, or just me. I think it just counts as me. So I have to kill them. Which we don't do a lot of because our drone takes all the kills from us. <laughs> okay, that's unfortunate. There is a lot of XP all over the place. Let's go see if we can find another one of those towers. Help us get all this juicy XP faster. I think when I don't play, when I'm playing like this and I don't play with the the auto aim, auto fire, and I'm chatting to you guys and everything, I do kind of forget that I need to fire the gun on my own. Usually when I play these types of games, I leave auto aim and auto fire on so I can just chat and enjoy the game and not do it this way. It just makes it easier in a sense. Anyway, I think these games, the fact that if they have them as an option, you should use them. The only thing is there is a achievement, an achievement uh, to finish a run without using auto aim on. So there is that. Let's try and get ourselves out of there. That's so cool that we get so many explosions all over the place. We did level up twice as well. So let's go grab the two level ups. 
We get a tuning, so we can go for crit chance here with the vision range. That's perfect. And then we're not going to do more because I think our augments are going to give us crit chance anyway. So uh, that's not the one we wanted. Sparked stock was not the stock we wanted either. We wanted pauldron stock. Uh, so we're going to go for the glass eyeball, which there you can see gives us the the extra crit chance that we needed. So we didn't actually, we wasted a, a tuning level up over there on the on the crit. We could have taken something else. All right, gang gang. It's so cool. And he's got a little gun as well. Pretty funny. Uh, I really actually didn't think they spawned here. So I was, that's why also another reason why we've been chilling in this area is because this dude's not supposed to be spawning here. But uh, as you can see, he is so I'm a little uh, dumbfounded. I thought we were supposed to get another boss. Two more levels again. Very interesting. Silver R, R charm. I don't think that's the one we want. We want the evil R. Although we don't need the crit anymore. Oh, but that's bullet damage. So, wait. I'm so confused. That gives us bullet damage as well. Oh, do you know what? That's 1.12. No, wait, we can go silver R. Well, it's fine. We'll grab this one because it gives our drone more weapon damage as well. All right, there we go. He's called a mini boss. And then we can go for crit bonus, fire rate, vision range, and air, uh, air drop capacity. This is the capacity. So there will be, if you increase the capacity, it means that you're going to have more chance of selecting these. Uh, this is credit drop. No, we don't care about that. This is no. So it's either power and prestige again for more armor, bullet damage, or we can go for the fire rate. Um, that's quite a decent amount of crit bonus. So I think we're going to go with that. It says over here, any fractional value provides a chance for one extra drop. A pod with 3.5 capacity has three options with a 50% chance of a fourth option. What is, how do I know what the capacity is? The number of upgrade choices you receive from an airdrop beyond their base capacity. This is multiplied by the base capacity of the airdrop you collect from, I don't know. I guess it just means the more you have, the better. That's all we need to know. All right, so we're gonna go for more effect size and bullet size. We're gonna make massive rockets. Huge rockets that are gonna explode everywhere. We can grab the crit bonus now because we are on 100% crit damage. So, uh, I mean, crit chance. So we are doing a whack ton of damage with our rockets. Even their split damage is now doing a whack ton of damage, which is fantastic. Oh yes, I do like what I'm seeing. All right, there we go. We got our pauldron stock finally, so we can get that. That's massive amounts of damage as well again. I just need more crit bonus or more damage because we only sitting on, I say only, We've got ourselves 700 plus damage. The only reason uh, I would say that this is an interesting take on it. So yes, you see a big number, but I've had a weapon deal 200 damage per bullet. And you don't really, I mean, that final boss really doesn't die. So it just depends. Uh, reload speed, we can go for that. That's really good. We do get a healing bonus. So the healing bonus, when you pick up like the apples and things, you get more healing from them. So you do kind of want that as well, if you need it. I don't think it affects your regeneration, but I don't know, maybe it does. There's a lot that I need to try and get a hold of the developer and maybe ask them some certain things. Like what's their favorite weapon to build to beat the final boss? Because that's all I'm struggling with right now. And you do have to beat the final boss or finish a run at least. Uh, to unlock something in your base so hopefully we can finish that and show you what i'm talking about uh, we are going to go for magazine clip size because we want more bullets because we are going to get the upgrade that's going to make it so the more bullets that we have uh, the less we have in our magazine the more damage the bullet's going to do 
So eventually our final rocket shot out will deal a whack ton of damage or that that's what we're hoping for. And we got to just get big and uh, nasty from there. I think we've got a, I don't really need our balls. for he got destroyed in seconds the apples give us six hp back right now five is the base number so healing bonus does do something we do get that this innovative magazine I, I think i wanted the other magazine no we do want the innovation magazine okay perfect so we're gonna grab this one because that's what we're looking for and then the barrel and other stuff we'll take a look at afterwards. So there we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. I completely forgot that you could hold down shift to get more information on the stuff and see why, where it leads you to. So that definitely helps us. Look at that fire rate. We haven't even pushed space bar yet. That's only going to get better. And I do love it when the enemies do come up to us like this. Again, because we are using split rockets. It does make it a lot easier for us to kind of deal that juicy damage that we need to deal with the rocket launcher to upgrade that other gun. Um, I'm going to go. No, we don't do any statuses. So I would have liked that armor, but we don't do any status damage. So it's kind of a, a double edged knife over there taking something. But we're going to end up shooting ourselves in the foot with it. Firing will temporarily where what does this become? A uh, great hunter's barrel killing with a crit will have a chance to spawn credits or increase crit chance. Uh, we could just go with the great hunter barrel. I must remember to not use the sniper barrel. Shocking charges. We do have the crit chance. Or, oh, wait, what? Oof, look at that. I need to stop going for like. Okay, we'll just grab this for now. I don't know, everything I pick always leads to crits and then I'm always capped on the crit chance and I've actually wasted some damage and other things like that. So I need to try and be more wary of what the stats are given and things like that so we can kind of get a better, better options for ourselves going. But 900 and so damage being done by our rockets right now, which is fantastic to see. Grab the crit bonus over here. I think that's perfect for more damage kill 150,000 enemies there is a bigger medic pack over there so this is just something that they've added that you can do uh, I believe they were actually in the game before but I don't actually know what this one does I think it just drops you some of that energy stuff so uh, I've done a couple of them and I've really never noticed what they do for you also we have to there's an achievement to take damage from this guy I'm not going to do that because why would I want to? Maybe when I have a much tankier build and we can face tank him. But for now, we're just going to kill him and everything around him. All right, so we can't do the crit chance. It looks like we're just going to go with... Ooh, see, crit bonus is very good over here. It does give us 20% air pod, uh, pod capacity. Also, the fire rate gets increased. So that actually is probably more damage than what we would have got from an actual damage upgrade. So that's really good. Plus two to the base magazine size. That's beautiful. So we go from 17 to 28 magazine and then the shooting bullet will increase its damage for every empty slot in your magazine. So that's exactly what we were looking for. And let's just finish this. So that just gives us a bunch of materials. And now, as you can see, we start getting other options as well, which is perfect because it's going to come to a point where we actually don't. Uh, sometimes you land up with two options. So having more airdrop range or airdrop percentage, make sure that you never get to that point and your options are always above a certain amount. Oh, but we are hitting hard with these rockets now. This might be the clear run, ladies and gentlemen. We might finally actually finish a run. We do have to wait for 25 minutes, like I mentioned. Crit bonus, beautiful. We could have gone magazine size. That would have increased the damage as well. I do want to see how much like we do with one, one three, 
uh, 4813566368. It, it keeps going up because we're getting closer and closer to the end of the magazine. And then it goes back down to 1-2. So you get a decent chunk of damage from it. So that's pretty cool. There we go. We did it. We unlocked it. So we unlocked the gun. We got our mission. It seems that this happens regardless. Oh, because it's an augment. We've only got two options left. So let's go with the bullet damage one first. That's just going to increase our damage overall. I understand why it does that. It's because I don't have more than two options available. I was like, how come we sometimes only get two options available to our when we level up, even though our air, air drop capacity is so high and so on. And then the next time we get it, as you can see, it goes up. But it's because of that. Um, that's 25 quick bonus, 14 collection range. We don't need the collection range. The thing is, it also reduces our dodge skill. So we're not going to grab that. We'll just grab that one. now we can just keep going yes we actually did the damage i'm so happy our mission is complete we unlocked the gun so even if we don't finish the rounds at least i got exactly what we wanted Let's see what else can happen over here. Uh, we don't need fire rate. We don't need the crit chance. It would be nice if we could get banishes. That would be pretty good. Uh, bullet range and speed might be good, but we're going to go with the damage. 8%, 8%. Of course, it is going to get multiplied even further. I mean, you can see we're doing 1600 damage now on some of these rockets. Obviously, a bit more depending on the magazine count as well. Lots of numbers happening all over the place. Our drone is level 43. I think it can go up higher. I think we've got a 45 weapon equipped on it. But we do want to reach level 50 and then we can actually equip this to it. And then we can get a piercing bullets. Uh, I guess so. It is damage increase. What is the assassins? Yeah, let's just grab. Yeah, let's just grab that. That's the last augment we can select for that anyway. So we're only going to have the barrel left, which is pretty interesting. I do wonder what happens once you've hit a full amount. That's also because we haven't unlocked all the other stuff yet. So we do have to go and unlock it. Not every single run will be a, okay, let's go and finish the run. Some runs you do have to use to unlock new things. So some of those do work really well others not so much we don't need the vision range let's go for bullet damage and as you can see things are getting really tanky now these guys take a decent amount of hits and remember we're doing a thousand six hundred damage per per hit here so We just got the achievement, the second one for the RPG, dealing 1.5 million damage. Only option left for us to augment, so we can't really do anything else. Increase the reload and the fire rates. And I think the boss is going to spawn soon. That's why we've got so much going on, Racha. It feels like something slowed us down. But it's just because I'm shooting. So as we shoot, we slow down. And here's the final boss. I don't think we're going to kill him. Just because of the way our life is looking right now with all of these enemies around us. Okay, we did reach level 50. Which means we will be able to hit a level 50 weapon. I feel like these R's are the reason I'm actually slow. I check, we did get the upgrade. So we did speak about that upgrade in the beginning for our drone. 
and this is not working i don't have enough movement speed this is where we should have kept the movement speed upgrade for our our weapon although we have moved further away from him now okay this is good we did dodge his attack there that's also good we can go for she need movement speed the hp regen might come in handy Ah oh, no, he got movement speed. Get off of me. I'm not shooting him until I am able to run away because of his movement speed little boost he got there. So there we go. We can start shooting again. Come on. I can beat him. Uh, we can do this. He's so close to death. It's only giving us 27 more seconds. Come on, the game. No, no, he's going to kill me. Oh, no. That freaking movement speed. Okay, we definitely don't want that. We were so close to killing him. No. So I want to show you at the base why it was so important. There's all the unlocks we got. So we did find the new gun, which is perfect. We are going to try out the Hydra Minimissal Swarmer. Really, really cool. I'm thinking about using this on our... Uh, on our drone but we'll see from there so there's this over here it says you have to kill him to unlock the area and that's for our drone to get upgrades it's something to do with that so we do have to beat the final boss and then i believe there is a different final boss as well because there is a section over here which requires us to kill tartanus and i don't know how you kill him or whatever the case is but there we go 4k to unlock this swarm of explosive mini missiles we're gonna grab that and i do need to remember that movement speed is very important uh this over here we can unlock the runic grip it doesn't really require anything except for this stuff so we're gonna buy that as well 1k picking up a resource will increase your credit boost or afflicting an enemy with the flea status effect will increase your movement speed for a few seconds both of them don't really help us, but we got to ground a bit. We need to unlock more stuff as well, like grips and things like that, so that we can go further. Uh, I also don't know how to get some of these things, like this eyeball or this tree. I've tried looking for them, but I can't seem to find them just yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.